If you want to make a watermark, you can use the last method to do it first. For example, you can import a test. I'll turn it into a board first. Then you have to make a pattern of your watermark. Let's say I want 800 by 800, right? You can change it to black or white. Let's be black. Then add another one. Text change to white. Change a font here. Then center it with this rectangle. Just use after alignment. I hope there is a certain offset between each watermark. Something like this, rather than becoming that kind of, it's very uh, matrix. So I need to do an offset of it now. I'll make a copy and paste it on top of the square. Then again, uh, give it a groove. Realign it to the center of our rectangle. Cut again. After cutting, I will align it to the left side of our rectangle. Command J to make a copy. Align again to the right of the rectangle. Uh, after alignment, just throw these three characters into our rectangle. Something like this. Wait a minute. When we make that watermark, we'll produce an effect like this. Deviation. In order to adapt our watermark to some high definition images. So now we can actually make it bigger first because it's still a vector state. What about the traditional method? You're actually going to export it as a PNG and export it back, right? Turn it into a filler pattern. Actually, no need. You can directly right click to change to just right click the three paintings to turn into this pixel layer, then right click to turn to this image. As I said before, images can be retrieved. So we can directly click this transfer or right click transfer can be turned into a curve. Then our previous pattern will become a fill, right? You can switch to this gradual change tool. It is now a pattern that exists in a filling form. So in this case, we can change one way of filling it. Change this extent to wrap. Then we drag it to the same size as our image. Notice if you change its proportions, this is going to flatten. So you have to press the uh, G keep, the tool of gradual change. Give it another drag after dragging it again. It will correct the proportion after correcting. If I only wanted this word now, you can directly change this layer stacking mode, right? This is the fastest. But if you say, well, you want this watermark to be colored, then you can use the method I said last time. That is, you can keep this white, but you don't want black. If you don't want black, you can remove the black, right? So remove the black, then add a layer style with a color overlay to it. For example, do you want to change it to green or blue or something? Ah, after changing it, you can also change a blend, blend mode for this layer here. However, it will conflict with this layer style. So you need to group it, control G or command G to group, and then change one of its overlays here. That's all you need. This is the fastest way to create such a watermark.